And welcome everybody to our AA Inspired Enigma. This is the inspiration session for the Art Play Palette Enigma and coordinating um, products. So we're looking at the Enigma collection right now on my screen. We have the um, Artsy Layer template. We have the Art Play Palette. There's the bonus collection um, that comes if you buy this full collection. We have um, these great photo blends overlays tend to be a little bit larger than the other style photo blends. Multimedia elements, which are always a big hit. Um, some fun word art necessary for us to convey meaning to our photos. And then these are two kind of companion sets. They're not included with the collection, but they do coordinate. We've got the artsy transfers and the artsy cards. So if you have any requests for me to use a particular product, now's a good time to pop that in the chat box. So moving on now, I want to just share some of the team pages, lots and lots of pages. I actually divided them into different categories. Um, these were the template pages, quite a number of those uh, this time. Uh, this one is by a new um, team member, Sylvie, um, Sylvia. Um, notice how she's used the template, but she's rotated uh, the frames. And notice how she has um, exchanged those frames that are included in the template with that frame from the um, art play palette. Now, she's been able to make this work uh, quite beautifully, <laughs> much better than I was able to make it work. It looked really weird when I started duplicating it. Maybe it's because she's only used that frame, I don't know. Um, but I really like how she has used those frames in place of the template frames, that she's rotated them. She's actually rotated the whole template um, and um, I like how she's just focused on the photos in that frame. Lovely embellishment. Um, so yeah. And then in this particular um, temp uh, template, you can see that the uh, frames have been reduced. So you can turn off the visibility of those frames in that artsy template as well. Uh, this one is uh, from uh, Michelle. She actually used the template, but she used it with the uh, Lavalier uh, collection that was one of our specials a couple of weeks ago. Um, so, you know, just a reminder here that you can mix and match your um, supplies, your different collections. Um, a lovely one here by Viv. Um, really like the placement of this photo here of the archways. It looks really, really good. Um, blended into the background there and then more of the detailed pictures using that template. Uh, notice too that how she has added a very subtle stroke layer and drop shadow to um, that title. So you can definitely play around with the thickness of that. Um, another one here, this one is from Laura. She has mixed the template with the homemade collection. Um, so she's added in different art supplies there. Um, and then this one's from Joan. She's used, um, I believe, photo blends overlay number five. Um, and I think she's probably used maybe some of the uh, bonus materials, but I like how she's kind of moved those frames around and rotated them. Um, so those are the templates. A number of different heritage pages, really beautiful here. Uh, There's another one by Sylvia here. I like how, again, she's used that art play palette frame um, and she's also mixed in those artsy cards. So really fun way to use those artsy cards. Um, I'm also loving how she's just using the artsy paper in the background and not necessarily blending photos into the background as well. It really puts the focus on these smaller frames. And because she's added in these artsy cards and these elements, it adds visual weight and draws the eye to the really small black and white photos. Uh, this one is from Fiona. I love how she has matted her composition. She's done an extraction. Um, so yeah, we're gonna be learning how to do those in a couple of weeks. Um, she has added a stroke layer to her title. I don't often use the titles other than in black or white. So really fun to see a different color here. Notice too how she has grouped together a variety of different elements, including those dried flowers. And I love how these title clusters sort of spill off the edge 
um, of her matted design. So um, a lot of traditional components to this uh, piece, but then also very digital. She's clearly used some um, blending modes in the background here to create these uh, the fun colors and intensity in um, values. Another one from Fiona here, I call this the sandwich technique where you blend your photo into the center and then you sandwich the design either side with um, your artistry. She's used that transfer multiple times and blended it into the background here. Um, again, using that dried flower multiple times. I also like how she's placed the wood element here underneath some of the blended artistry. It sort of softens it that um, element a little bit and gives it a slightly different look. Um, I also like how, um, I think this one's by Pam. Pam um, Palmer, she has rotated that oval frame. So using that oval frame from the multimedia elements um, and using rotation also on the other multimedia element here. So uh, nice visual triangle here with the birds, um, fun little element cluster here or word cluster and then the rotation of the frame here. I also like how the journaling sort of stands out in this bright blue. I probably wouldn't go quite so bright with it. I'd probably sample it with this uh, blue area at the top here. This one I went through in the last um, AA Connect, so I won't spend too much time, but I love how she's used, um, extracted the frames here um, and used the masks in order to showcase these um, photos that were on the wall. Um, this one's beautiful as well. I uh, really love the blending in this. This is the artsy paper number five. The bonus paper um, comes with the mask um, in the photo blends overlays. Um, so she's clipped her photos to that. Um, she's used two of the frames from the artsy template and has clipped a photo over um, two of the masks. So uh, something to consider when you have a photo that doesn't quite fit the proportions of a frame, then you can duplicate that frame and you can add the same photo to the masks in order to extend uh, the length of that frame. I also really like that this, um, this effect that she's applied to the title here, it looks like some sort of um, style that she's added um, to her title here, which is super fun. Um, and this one is from Viv. She's done an extraction. Um, love this with the with the children sitting on top of the wood wood. Look at their little toes sort of balanced on um, the urban threads. It's all in the details. Uh, fun, again, this was kind of the approach that I shared. Really like the labeled word with the star that she's taken from the multimedia element. Um, this is really cool too. She's taken the, um, the oval um, mask and she's used it as a tag. Um, so just some really fun elements in the mix there. Uh, this one's very dramatic um, from Nancy. Lots of blending modes here. I would say probably color burn blending modes allows this intensity, this black to come through um, these very uh, contrasty colors between the white and the dark. Um, some great journaling, um, really nice play on the multimedia with the adding in some customization with some of the art play palette elements. Um, and then this one's from Mikey too. She's she's used it, used a couple of elements from other kits added in here, but very simple um, clipped photo over a tag and then multiple elements on top. So the, the artistry doesn't have to be complex. Um, it can be quite simple. I really like the sepia color on the photo here. It really brings in some of the... Um, of the of the brown elements that are in her layout design. So that's the heritage, lots of double pages too per request. Um, this one is um, using some of the, well, most of the Enigma pieces. So fun, fun to see the Enigma collection used with, um, you know, a variety of, of different colored photos, lots of red in this. She's balanced it with this red flower here, but definitely used pieces in there. And of course, this is the month review template album number eight. This one is a book style uh, double page spread using the Enigma collection. Um, really fun elements here. Um, the frames, I love how the skiers are coming across both frames here. Um, really nice sort of intro page. Uh, excited to see if there's a page two to this one. Um, this one is from Kim. So very similar to what I've just done in that she's created some blended artistry and she's balanced her page with a uh, photo inspired template 
Um, and then the same on this side, really blended artistry on one side, we're balanced with uh, multiple frames and elements on another side. So the large photo, um, the visual weight of the really large photo is then balanced by small, smaller elements on the opposing side of the page. Um, again, same same sort of approach here with the photo inspired blended artistry with the addition of um, bits and pieces from the photo inspired page. I love the colors in this. I love that she has maintained the integrity and she's pulled those pinks and purples through her design. She's added a pink hue to this um, fastener element over here. The uh, paper clipping here has a pink hue to it. I probably would add maybe a little bit of purple stains or some splatters over here to pull in a bit more of this bright pink and purple. Um, so just kind of bring that in a little bit more with the, with the artsy paint and the artsy stains. But I love the integrity of the photos. And then a bunch of different pages here from Diane who works in eight by 10 format. Um, a very, very similar you know, blended photo supported with multiple framed um, images from different templates. This one's from the template from Enigma. Um, I'm not sure where these ones are from. Um, looks like they are from the a month review template. Uh, she has removed some of the labels on those. Um, then she has duplicated the use of the frame from the artsy template here. Um, and then again, reusing those frames. So never feel like you, um, you know, you can't reuse uh, supplies because uh, when you use them on different pages with different photos, they look different. I like how she's used the paper textures here to support the horizon. Um, and then finally, one of a different color here um, of Oz, um, just again, incorporating the Enigma collection with some really bright colors. Um, it works really well. So those are the double page spreads. Um, a bunch of animals too in this one. Um, we've got some cats, uh, we've got some birds um, from Jerry, um, and then um, a little dog from Mikey here. Um, basically a photo blended into the background and this one is, it looks like some sort of hawk uh, from um, the, from Susan. Um, so in all of these, pages, the photo is blended into the background using the photo blends clipping mask and then embellished. I like the position of the little heart on this one. That one works really well. I also like how she has recolored the uh, multimedia elements here to bring in more of the orange in the bird. And the same with this uh, key here. It looks very rusty. So some element ones. Um, we did the heritage templates. So finally we have the other. So these were the ones that were left over. Uh, some fun effects using filters or apps can be used. Um, and then again, using those elements to create um, some fun uh, clusters. I also like how she's used the brushes from the art play palette here. You can see this textural brush here that she's added in black. It really supports the, the texture that's in her photos. Uh, another pretty one here of the um, frozen leaves. I suppose if I, you know, if I thought about this kit, I'm kind of inspired by snow at this time of year. We get a lot of snow. And so I see a lot of blue and white at this time of year. Blue and white also happens to be my favorite color to create in. But you don't necessarily have to use the blue as is shown here by Pam. She has, um, she's been able to document some photos of bread making um, without having to bring it or without bringing in any blue. She has incorporated some elements um, from the homemade collection. I think this one is probably from you, Noya. I'm not sure, um, but just a mix of different um, artistry there. Uh, this is a great effect here. This is where um, it has worked for her, where she has applied, looks like a color burn blending mode to her photo. Uh, she has contained it with these paper textures. Um, it's probably worked because she doesn't have too much artistry in the background. You can see a, a transfer here, um, but this is where the artsy transfers can come in. You can turn off the layers in those individually. Um, so you can control actually how much of those layers show through. Um, super interesting one from here from Michelle, completely uh, changed the color palette using the tools in Photoshop and went with a black and red uh, color palette for her design. Um, so it's always fun to see some artsy approaches. A uh, little guy from Laura, again, she's adjusted the color of the, of the element. I love how she has taken the shadow 
of the multimedia element and used it independently as a um as a layer and ice cream was kind of it's fun it's to see the team use this uh title because it's one of those uh things that we kind of take pictures of, of a lot i think people eating ice cream and so it's been fun to see the different ways that that title has been used i think this is a self-portrait from um nancy um, I think that this is what this is here. So again, blended photo supported by another photo down the bottom here. I'm not sure if this is a photo of a, a younger her. Um, so she hasn't kind of really provided any information. Um, she, she says, see the passage of time. How did the young, the young something disappear? So just a reflection on time. I think I, that's what fascinates, fascinates me most and what inspired me to go back to February 12th of different years today to get photos is just to see the passage of time and the difference from one year to, to the next and even from decade to decade. So um, for those of you that are in you know, the uh, the sixth or the seventh decade of your life to take a photo from each of the decades and create a page, I would be super inspiring. Uh, LMA never fails to do something super creative. She has changed the color of the word art to blue. Um, some super fun uh, blending modes added to that clock element here uh, to make it really rich. Um, and then some great effects here. I love how she's brought the textured paper through this um, old guy's hair. There isn't any journaling here, so I'm not sure what the page is about, but um, really, really cool. And then uh, last one's from Michelle. Lots of fun extractions here. Um, I love how she incorporates the cards and the frames. Um, in with her journaling, she's definitely mixes the boundaries between traditional and artsy scrapbooking. So that brings us to the end of the session. Take care, everybody. Bye. Bye.